Hello, it's Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to create the highest quality mockups for your clothing brand. This is for a complete beginner, and these are the methods that I have used to create mockups for some of the top clothing brands all around the world. The softwares that most brands use and you probably want to use to create your mockups is called Adobe Illustrator, which I and a lot of other big brands use. You also have Vector P, which is totally free and online, or you can use Affinity Designer, which is a available on the App Store, on mobile, iPad, etc. Any of these softwares are fine, but personally, I do recommend Adobe Illustrator. It has a 14 day free trial and then you pay in monthly installments. So now I'm going to hop into Adobe Illustrator and using my mockup pack in the description below, I'm going to show you how to create your own clothing collection from scratch. So now we are inside of Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna take this list top to bottom. I'm gonna design a few pieces of clothing and show you everything you need to know as a beginner. The first thing you're gonna see when you open up Adobe Illustrator is this box here. This box will appear. You can put whatever size you want. I just like to spam a number, for example, 3333, 2222. And here you'll have your artboard. Now you just want to move into my mock-up pack. I zoom in by holding Alt and just scrolling up. And you just want to go through and start picking which mock-ups you want to use. I'm going to first take this open arm hoodie. Hold Shift down to select multiple mock-ups. Pick this hoodie side view. The flared sweatpants. For my t-shirt, this one here. Pick the skateboard. I want this shell jacket. Finally, is the female hoodie V2. And just press Control C to copy. Move back into your artboard that you created and press Control V. It's all gonna paste. And you simply just wanna move this all around with your mouse, drag and select, and move it into your artboard. A little pro tip that is actually really important before we do anything and press like on this video to add it to your liked videos because I think this is a very good video but go up to window and you want to select transform you can click on any of your mock-ups and you just want to make sure that scale stroke and effects is enabled at default this will be disabled you can see if I disable this and I make my mock-up really big then the outline is gonna get super skinny but what you can do is enable this and then if I make this big it's all gonna say the same so you want to make sure that you enable it and the last quick note you just want to save this go up to the top left file and save just pick where you want to save that give it a name you've got your toolbar over here this is the advanced toolbar you actually don't need this so I'm gonna switch that back to basic this is what your toolbar will look like the top tool is just the basic selection tool probably the tool we use the most just for dragging and selecting like so move things around currently these are grouped together but if I were to ungroup them the selection tool would select the individual parts like so next we have our direct selection tool the direct selection tool will ignore the grouping and it will just break through the groups anyway even though this is grouped together you can also select the individual points so if I were to drag and select all of these points down here and drag this up then we now have a crop t-shirt you can make it wider at the base the next tool that you need is the pen tool this one is quite advanced so you probably won't need to use it but this is for creating your own custom shapes you can just click and drag all of these mock-ups are made out of pen tool lines so you can click you can move them around as we did before with the t-shirt next on our list is our shape tool if I hold this down you can select other shapes I'll just select the rectangle for example you can just start by creating my rectangle the next one you want to know is the type tool this is for creating any text you can just click and type need and over here in the properties tab is where you can change everything about the appearance so the font the size of the font the space between the lettering everything like that here are some of my favorite fonts if you do want to have a look I'm picking the GTA font, which is called Price Down. And if I hold Alt and drag, it's going to create a copy of this. Some more stacked can just select all of these and place it on my t-shirt if you want to change the color of your text use these two boxes over on the left this box here is your fill so if you double click on this you can change the color of your fill to anything you want I'm gonna make it white and here you can change the outline which I'm gonna make black over in the properties tab you can change the thickness of your stroke I'm gonna just reduce this to quite thin there we go you do the same thing to change the color of anything in Adobe Illustrator so if I want to change the color of this t-shirt it's currently all green together I want to ungroup this first so just press ungroup select the two bases as well as the collars I want this sort of washed blue color next we have the eyedropper tool I'm sure I use this later but if I go into my example collection over here for example if I just create a circle with my shape tool and select the eyedropper tool it will just copy over the color so it'll copy over the blue the red the white if I select this hoodie and use the eyedropper tool then it's going to copy over the colorway like so as for adding graphics there are two types of graphics that you can 
can use either a PNG or an SVG. Now basically PNGs are made out of pixels and SVG are what you're looking at right now where I can just zoom in infinitely and it's not going to go blurry. As you can see if I bring in this graphic here if I zoom in eventually it's going to go blurry and you're going to start to see pixels whereas if this is an SVG which you can do you can turn this into an SVG very easily just press image trace up here and you can either leave it like this or in the bottom right change the preset to high fidelity photo and it is now an SVG you can see if I zoom in it does not go blurry at all but I'm going to move the queen down here onto the back of the t-shirt this is the project capri logo you might know this shout out project capri I'm going to place this graphic on the front of my open arm hoodie I want this hoodie to have a sort of red orange tie dye effect which you can do by using a gradient now this is a bit more experienced but it is honestly super easy you just press this button down here in the middle of these three I'm not sure why it's so small press this gradient button you can either have like this swiping gradient or this circular gradient but you want the last one on the list which is like a custom gradient and you basically set these four points to the color of your choice and it will blend them together there we go we have this nice gradient i want the cuffs and the pocket to just be red finally i'll pop up what this hoodie looks like in real life but it's got this rhinestone pattern all over it that'll be super easy to make with the circle tool and i'll just make a small circle i'm going to make it white get rid of all the stroke and you just want to make a formation I'm using these purple lines that kind of snap them all into place now that all the rhinestones are ready i'll select them all press group i want to drag this over on top of my hoodie like so and the final step is applying a clipping mask to apply a clipping mask you want to first right click on the thing that you want to clip in mask arrange and send to back that's going to send it behind this i'm just going to make a copy of this so i can copy over the gradient in a second now you're ready to go select the base select your rhinestones right click and make clipping mask there we go it has lost its color but because we created that copy you want to use the direct selection tool when you're dealing with clipping masks select the edge like so and then I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool and there we go I'm actually going to click on the pocket and over here in appearance I'm going to remove the fill so the pocket is not hiding the rhinestones and the gradient I'm going to create another version of the front but this one is going to be black and just set this all to black for my skateboard I want to recreate this supreme design I'm just bringing this in for reference I already created this rectangle before so i'll bring this over and resize this i'm going to use the circle tool to create the head and i'm just using the pen tool to trace the outline of the body and the arrow I'm setting it to red and i'll drag it over i'm going to make my box white remove the outline and then finally and i'll google supreme box logo svg bring this in and resize it and i now just want to drag over this print like so on the back you can see they've got this sort of oak dark wood texture same thing google dark wood texture this one here looks good i'm going to bring it in i'm just going to bring it in and again i'm just using that image trace tool to turn it into an svg once again i'll use the clipping mask send this to the back right click arrange send to back select them both make clipping mask this logo down here is the finishing touch and i'll make three colorways one red one black and one green here i am just using all of the fundamentals that we have discussed in this video such as the selection tool the direct selection tool the clipping mask and the image trace tool to customize the rest of my mock-ups Here are all of my finished designs we are all complete you should now know how you can customize your own mock-ups for your clothing brand the last two points are adding measurement guides and creating a tech pack these are included when you download the mock-up pack in the link below so download that to watch these two extra points i really appreciate all the love on the channel if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below my name has been adam press subscribe to see more i will see you in the next video